All right, so this will be the last time for this one back in Mythographic Paradise. And this time I'm actually sitting right here. So, yeah, I never know which way it's going to flip. Um, I have done some little swatches right here with some colors because I don't really know what I want to do for the leaves. I don't want the green to be in your face. The purple's okay, but now I'm kind of leaning towards this. I just don't know. So I'm just going to, I'm going to take off and try one, like in an area that's not as noticeable. Where is that? Let's try that big leaf right there, because if it looks bad, it's big enough that maybe I can erase it. But I've got to see what it's going to look like with all that around it. And what I could also do is just um, take some of these colors and color around my swatched area. But hey, throw caution to the wind. Let's just see what happens. So I think I'm going to try the green. So I pulled 69 and then I pulled 31. So, okay, here goes y'all. I'm going really light. It'll make it easier to erase. <laughs> But yeah, sometimes you just have to go for it. And then I'm going to do the red over the top. This is 31. Because I want it to look like green, but I don't want it to be an in-your-face green. Does that make sense? And then now I'm sitting, so I'm going to stand up and look through the camera. It's just going to be different no matter what I do, I think. I wonder how it is if I take some of this purple. This was a favorite. It's number 91. And if I do that just down here and then fade it out ever so slightly. Um, it does look like a green. Yeah, I think no matter what, it's just going to be in your face. So... I'm going to, would I start with the green? So I'm going to take this green and I would do every bit of all the leaves on the entire page. Just ever so slightly. Ever so lightly. Just enough to knock the white right off the paper. Maybe just a little more than that, okay? And again, if I don't like it, I could go over it with a red and really block it out. Hopefully I won't have to. So I'm just going to go over a few here because you all know how to base color I mean, this is like elementary coloring inside the lines coloring. Okay? Just get everything in this top corner. If you do it a section at a time, you'll not feel quite so overwhelmed as if you were doing a whole thing all at once. And I think that's, you heard me talk about being a little bit bored when I was doing that red background and I think that's why it just got to be too much all at once and tired of being on the same page now that I've changed colors I'm not so um, I'm not so over it as I was then and these that I'm doing totally are where the green outsides are still pulled up over. Every now and then, like this one down here, where it looks like it's peeled back a little more, <clears throat> excuse me, I did go ahead on those and do some red in there too. But anyway, so it started getting cold here. I got to dig out my leggings that are fleece lined. Yeah, no, I'm in um, Texas. I think we're actually Central Texas. I'm outside of Dallas. 
and I turned on the electric mattress pad last night. Instead of using a heated blanket, we use a heated mattress pad. So we actually lay on it instead of having to pull it up. So you can turn it on and it just gets rid of the uh, chill of the bed before you crawl in. Yeah, it's so nice. Now I'm coming in with the red, number 31, lightly going over everything just so it's not green green in my face and I'm actually kind of liking it like this and it's not hard to color because if you get outside the lines guess what it's on something else red <laughs> so it doesn't matter so yeah so I'm just going through and getting all this get all the little bits So yeah, nothing's happened since last time I posted because I actually did that video, that last video that you saw with the background color. I did it right before this one, like 10 minutes ago. <laughs> so I just waited a while before I posted another one. Every now and then I'll do that. Now that looks almost black. I'm not liking that as much. So I guess I need to watch how much. In fact, some of this is looking like brown and mud the further I get along in it. Maybe I should have left it green. I don't know. You know what? It's not over till it's over. So I'm just going to keep going. I'm going to do this whole section. And then I'll start the next shade. And I want to say I did, my, my, my brain is just so many different directions right now. I want to say I did the green over the top again to green it back up a little. And then I'm going to do that purple. Yeah, green this up just a little. And then I'll add that purple in. I do like how it's still kind of dark because it is a dark picture. Now, if I was coloring in yellows, and then had leaves to do, I probably would have picked like a um, yellow green and that would have been okay on the yellow. I wouldn't have felt like I needed so many layers. And I'll probably finish this and then in a day or two I'll think, oh, why didn't I do so and so? Because that's what we do. And I am going to do this one a little more just because I did all the others a little more okay and then I'm going to come in with this purple remember it was number 91 and I'm just going to get a little bit there a little bit like down where those V's and stuff would be Who's that guy that does photos? Kim Anderson, I think, where he does pictures of children and then one thing, he does black and whites and then something will have like a pop of red in it or something. I feel like that's what I'm doing. It's like all one color and then I've got this pop of green. something for it to stand out a little different than 
everything else. And I mean, I could have searched through pencils and gotten another shade of red probably from somewhere. It's just, it's already a mysterious looking page. Why not add that in there? Okay, so I think I'm all right with that. I mean, at this point I'm gonna be, right? <laughs> it's just pencils. It's just a coloring book. I'm not gonna stress over it. Now, let me look through the camera. Yeah, if you ever have a hard time looking at your own work, take a picture of it and then look at it or go to a big bathroom well-lit mirror, hold it up in the mirror and look at it and see. It, it'll just give you a total different look. Okay, now I'm assuming this is leaf. This is part of the pinwheel. That's part of the pinwheel, which means that may be background. You know what? It's going to be leaf because I'm not pulling all that other back out. Do you like how I did that? Yeah, no, just too bad. All right, so moving on. Yeah, so this will be the last video for this picture because, like I said, the little elements in here, I'll just sit down and do those with gel pen some evening before bed. Yeah, I usually do gel pen in the evening because then I know that when I put it down, I'm going to walk away and it's going to have time to dry and I won't be smearing it. Yeah, gel pen's just too easy to smear. So, anyway. All right, and that's that's it. I'm just going to keep doing this. Just keep layering. So if you decide to do a picture, um, especially if you're in the group Coloring Books Keep It Clean, it's an all-ladies group on Facebook. Um, this is what 75% one color. This is probably more than 75%, but anyway. I think I'm going to make the challenge just 50% or more. I don't want people being discouraged going, there is no way. Well, when I started, I wasn't sure how far I was going with this. I wasn't sure if it was going to be 50 or 75. I just knew I wanted to put out a challenge of using one base color. And the color I picked was red. I think purples would be fun. You could use reds and blues in your layering because there's not just a whole lot of purples in your sets. Or pull out a bunch of sets and just use all the purples. Because there is a bluish purple, there's a reddish purple, there's a pinkish purple. So it's just in any one set, to me, they don't do enough purples. So, and I do like that better than this, now that I've worked on it for a bit. It's just got a richer look to it with all of this. And I know I've got the light real bright there. Does that show you a little better? So... But anyway, so the green, and as far as layering, and then I'm going to do the red again. As far as the layering goes, you're just going to have to get out your paper and um, try things. And then see it all the way through. Don't stop before you're finished. Because that's not really giving you a total accurate feel on what your page would look like can't tell you how many times I wanted to stop on this page, but I told myself I was going to finish regardless. And um, thank goodness I'm almost there. And I'll, will I do it again? Yeah, I'll do it again. But I would probably pick blue or purple. Red's been fun, and red is kind of easy because there are so many reds. 
there would be a lot of greens too because colored pencils have lots of greens because of your foliages but um yeah and it does it depends on your picture you're picking not everything you know if you're doing food it might be a little harder to do all one color depending on what you're doing you know what I'm saying just depends on what the page is if I were doing a bunch of animals it would be hard for me to stick with one color unless it's animals that were all browns then yeah that would probably be a whole lot easier but where's the challenge <sighs> it's definitely in this one Oh, um, all right. Watching me color, is that like watching paint dry? Slow going. But we're in the home stretch now. And then I'm going to go over it again in green. And then I'm going to add the blue or the purple that I pulled. To those areas that I want to recess to push further away okay so back to my green again and if this clicks off you'll you'll know what I did I did just what I did on the first part I'm just repeating it letting you get one more look And I'll show you how I'm going to put some separation here by going deeper with the purple. Get all the way through this. Oh, somebody had mentioned that they saw me using my homemade pencil sharpener. I use it when I travel. I actually have kept it back here on my desk, and I use it a lot, and it has really held up. So if you're wondering how to do that, you might look up um, on my channel. It's probably under pencil sharpener or DIY pencil sharpener I don't know but there is a video on how I cut the hole in it with a heated up exacto and then popped in the sharpener and used the glue to hold it in and it it has held up I have not had to do any repair on it knock on wood so been pleased with it and now I'm thinking oh okay there it is I was like am I gonna know when I get back to where I started or finished last time but yeah there's a very distinct difference in these all right so now then I'm gonna come in with that purple and let me show you again right up next to the flowers And then coming out it just makes them look like they're tucked up under there see behind and where it comes out and then down in here where it's darker down in here on the stems yeah, don't forget to add to your stems because you don't want them just poking out there and then this one is behind so it's going to get it there and then this one is going to get it down here that makes sense that way it tucked behind there and then this is behind this 
And this I'm going to do it just so it's coming up out of the page a little bit darker at the base. So anything that's behind would get a bit of that purple. And that's what's bringing it to the front a little. Yeah, the more I work on these, I do like this purple on here. And I'll pick it up if this doesn't timer out so that you can see it just a little bit better. See, now this one's behind, so I'll do there and then come down here. Okay, so, and this is behind, so I'm going to do it. All right, so there you have it. Not too bad. Not too bad. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to finish it up, and I will see y'all sometime soon. Bye.